Uh, you guys are one of the first ones here, um, you know, from your friends. But anyways, uh, a little bit about myself. Uh, my name is Felipe. I graduated North Hill High School two or three years ago. I can't remember. Uh, <laughs> um, I got my PhD, um, you know, public high school diploma. You know who I am. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, man, I mean, you know, I graduated. You know, I had big dreams. I wanted to go to UGA. I wanted to be a dog, dude. You know, I, I thought I knew, you know, where I was going, but, dude. But I didn't know that college was so freaking expensive, right? Who can yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And, you, yeah. you know... I didn't have the money. My parents didn't have the money. They were struggling financially. You know, I was just, I was just in a hole, right? I didn't want to open up student loans because we, you know, we heard in the video, um, you know, and nowadays, student loans just hit a trillion dollars. They're the yeah. biggest debt in America right now, okay? Yeah. So, you know, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to be that guy having to pay, pay it off for the rest of my life, you know, until like, I'm like 80, you know? Yeah. And so what I started doing, I got a job, okay? Um, who has a job right now? Raise hand. So a lot of you guys have a job. You guys like it? <laughs> no, no way. Well, hey, I didn't either, right? But that's kind of what I had to do. I was, um, I, I, my first job, um, I worked at Minchie's. Who was heard of it? Minchie's? It was a yogurt place. I was a guy in the costume, you know, that guy, you know? Um, you know, people look, like to call me the yogurt man, dude. I was making seven twenty five, right? And I had to, like, literally stand outside for, like, a year straight. You're just waving that cars, dude. It sucked, all right? But that's kind of what I had to do to, to survive, you know, to help out my parents, you know, and to, be, to you know, wish for a better future, right? You know, after a year working there, I became a manager, making $10 an hour. I thought it was a shit, right? You know? And then I got a job at a law firm. You know, I wore a tie. I thought it was a shit, right? Uh, but two years later, dude, I was broke as shit, right? <laughs> and I couldn't go to college. I couldn't get my car, and I couldn't even help out my parents. So obviously, I needed something different, you know? Obviously... You know, well, what I was doing wasn't working for me. You know, I wanted to change. But what, what I didn't know is that I needed to change, right? Mm. So, you know, my boy Austin Mueller right here, um, he actually came up to me one day and he goes, he handed me one of his energy drinks. Um, I'm just going to lift it up real quick. He goes, bro, listen, uh, you need this, man. We we're going to get rich. I go, what the fuck? <laughs> wow. He goes, listen, you got to come out to an event just like this, dude. There's like 17, 16, 17, 18-year-old kids. Hey, how's it going? Give her a hand. Yeah. Just just scoot a little bit. Yeah. So yeah, anyways, um, you know, I will tell you, there was a, he was telling me about this energy drink, right? Oh, we're gonna get rich, right? And then you know, telling me how like 60, 70 year old kids were making five thousand, seven thousand dollars a month, right? Oh, I go, bro, what drugs are you selling? <laughs> <laughs> um, you, know, <laughs> you know, obviously I was confused. I was a guy, you know, with a close mind. I was a guy with a big ego, you know, and a little small bank account, right? <laughs> and I, I turned it down, right? He was telling me about the free BMW, free Mercedes from this company, right? What? Oh, and again, yeah. I was like, dude, it's too good to be true, man. No, no thanks, right? Until he told me, bro, you gotta come check it out. You know, what if this works for you? Because it's worked for a lot of people. There's 19-year-old kids retiring their parents in a year in this business. Oh, wow. No way. I looked yeah. at that, and I looked at my parents. My parents work day and night, every <laughs> single day, dude. Wow. They don't, they don't get vacations, dude. They're a slave to a paycheck. Damn. Okay? Damn. They don't live. They survive. Damn. Dude. Wow. They bust their ass for me. So, obviously, I had to check it out. So, if you guys are here tonight, you guys took the first step. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. You know, obviously, I came to an event. Um, you know, I kept an open mind, and that night changed my life. Sounds yeah. cheesy and everything, but that night I was able to meet, you know, one of my really good friends, Mr. Christopher Bogner. Okay, I know I call him Mister. He's only twenty. He was only twenty-three years old at the time. Okay, wow. it was a year ago. Wow. All right, twenty-three years old, making a six-figure income. Yeah. All right, Let's go. you know, so fuck, you know, twenty-three <laughs> years old has a free Z4 BMW from the company. Wow, wow. fuck, you know, twenty-three wow. years old and is half retired because he retired his parents first. You know? Wow, oh, holy, holy, you know, man. twenty-three years old, and what he does. He just travels around the world to help young people just like you and I to do the same thing. Wow. That's what he wants to do, right? So he taught me everything, dude. You know, four months into the business, guess what? I don't have, I quit both of my jobs. Wow. Yeah. 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 I, like say, I, actually, I actually fired both my bosses. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, dude, I don't have an alarm clock, dude. I wake up whenever I want, dude. I have six Saturdays and one Sunday, Sunday right? Dude, I get to do what I want, when I want, with whoever I want, however I want, dude. What? Like, literally, I have Damn. no one to tell me anything, dude. I go pee whenever I want. <laughs> <laughs> yes. most, most of the time, you know, during school, during, during our work, we have to eat lunch at 12. Dude, I eat breakfast at 12. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so that's why you guys are here, you know, to give you a little bit, bit of freedom, you know, to, to actually help you out in the future, right? And to help you guys out, maybe not for yourself, but for your parents. Because look at your parents right now, you know, are they working, you know, yeah, is yes. anyone's parents retired right now? No. Yeah. No. So, your parents are retired? Yeah. Awesome, awesome. You know, Congrats. I, 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 Woo, you're doing something right. 
Well, for me, my parents were, are not retired, dude. And, and I want to help them out, dude. My dad hasn't had a vacation in eight years. Damn. And guess what I want to do in the next year? Actually, in eight months, I'm going to be able to tell them, hey, you can take a permanent vacation, right? Wow. Wow. My mom, I haven't seen her in four years. Why? Because she lives in Colombia, and I, I, there's, no pl- there's no money for a plane ticket to come here, right? I want to bring her here and, again, give her a permanent vacation. That's what I'm excited about, man. In the next two... Two to three weeks, I'm picking up my free car, you know, <laughs> yeah. BMW, Mercedes, doesn't matter, dude. I want to help you guys do the same thing, all right? Yeah. So with that being said, I want to bring up four people just to tell their little their story.